Okay, so the, the mix today, the super mix, the magic mix, pretty much our go to fishing on Lomond is a base of brown crumb. I'm just going to make a small amount up just now, then we can add to it later on. So about 50% brown crumb. 25% frenzy temp. Don't go anywhere without it. Yeah, it's a small amount to start with. And 25% they might be a silver roach. Again, the usual go-to. So what I mean by 25% is we've got two parts brown crumb. One part frenzy temp and one part silver X roach. I still preferred that older one, remember the one with a nice pinky smell? The red one, the red one. <laughs> the red one was quite good, they don't do it anymore. Dynamite baits, get your act together. I know. And we'll start with that. Small amount to start with, no point in making up a ton of bait and having loads left over. I can really be here long enough. We might not be here very long. The water looks pretty coloured. There's a lot of tow, which which might be a good thing. It might be. I'm hoping that this is going to be quite a good session. Uh, the River Hendrick is that in, in that flood. Now? <laughs> the River Hendrick's in flood at the minute, so it is pushing quite a lot of water through. But sometimes that's a key just to get these roach bream hybrids get them feeding. So fingers crossed as always. And then through this. Again, don't go anywhere without it. Hemp seed. Now to start with, I'm only going to put a small amount in. Uh, we can always add particles to it as the session progresses. But this one should have fluid in it. I've only used it all. <laughs> it's brand new. Brand new tubs. Yeah, get the water in there. There we go. So yeah, small amounts, small amounts to start. And we'll ease our way into this, I think, just to see what's happening first. Sometimes easier to put too much bait in initially. Could put the fish off if they're not really in the mood. So it's far better just to take it gently to start with. A little bit of water. He's going to go for a swim. As you can see, it's still relatively dark. We got here about 10 to 7. Aye, about that, yeah. And our spot was taken. <laughs> so our, our spot. Aye, our spot. <laughs> we're still fishing at the same bit, albeit on a different, a different area. However, don't tell anyone this, but the tow is coming from left to right here. So being to the right hand side of anyone else fishing here is usually quite a good thing. That, oh, I never thought of that. If that tow is pushing through here, our ground bait scent is going in that direction. It's going to draw fish up and it's going to come to us first. So bear that in mind. Right, so guys, if you keep putting the ground bait on, that'd be magic. <laughs> that was good. And then... Again, small amounts to start with. There we go. There's quite a lot of casters in there, but... I think they've just rose to the top. Nah, looks pretty good. There's loads of good maggots here. I'll not go too much, we'll go about there. There we have it. The magic mix. <laughs> right, let's get some out there.
was a little unsure how this was going to go today because there's a lot of flow and there's a lot of colour so it's really nice to get the first fish quite soon uh, well, quite early sorry Pretty positive bite there as well. Like that rattled round. Roach. Should be, yep. Yeah. First of many, hopefully. Didn't hang around with that. Absolutely annihilated it. Discorders. What do you like with discorders, man? Absolutely useless. <laughs> Lovely. That is some view on it. Never tire of that. I was just asking Alex if you'd any knocks because I've had nothing <laughs> and he's like no <laughs> and the rod wraps in It's been slow, it's been slow but hopefully it'll build Purples and blues this time of year, aren't I love the winter colours of them, they're stunning. They take on a, like a, a bronze colour in the summer, but then the winter time they've got blues and purples and pinks and all sorts. Took my finger. So as it turns out, it's only Alex that's catching the fish today. Finally got a little bit of consistency here as well. What are you calling it, a roach? I think it's a roach. I don't think it's huge, but one of the better ones of today. A tough, tough day. Every bite's been hard to come by. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's not a bad roach. It's an average stamper today. Are you using a long or a short leader? Quite long. See, I've got a really short half, one. Half a metre maybe. What's your setup today? Right, well, today I'm fishing a 12 foot 1.7 pound cover tip rod. And it's the new rods coming out this next year, I believe, N gauge specimen jewel tip from Guru. 
Uh, they were gifted to us by Adam, Adam Rooney, figure for helping them out. A great rod, I love them. Uh, also good for the barbell. I've got a 4,000 dial reel. That's loaded with six pound line. On the end of the line, I have a feeder with a running ledger. On a running ledger, sorry. Which I'll bring in and show you. With a cage feeder, an anti tangle swivel, and an anti tangle sleeve, sorry. And a size 14. Is that an M W H M W G? Loads of wee letters before it and a size 14. And I've caught one roach. So see whatever I'm doing, just don't bother copying it, right? <laughs> <laughs> this day work. <laughs> um, oh, it's been tough going. It's been busy down here as well with tourists. Every time you try and do something, you'll we'll get somebody from China, you get somebody from America, you get somebody from Canada, you get somebody from down south, you come from the other place. That's the downside of fishing at a spot. That is really busy with tourists, but you can't really blame them. But the reviews I've got today, I think they were a bit disappointed. But we'll go over and have a look at Alex's setup and we'll find out how he's doing. Right, so we've discussed my field efforts today. I know you're dying to tell the folks on YouTube how you're getting on. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing alright. Fishing well, I think. Uh, it's hard though. It is, it's really, really hard. Uh, we turned up this morning, seen there was a bit of colour in the water. Uh, and we thought, brilliant, this is going to be great. But, that water is cold. It's really, really cold. There's been a lot of snow melt, late, the snow melt <laughs> lately. Uh, and it's really plummeted the temperature. Uh, any fish that we have caught, ice cold to the touch, you know, so they're, they must be pretty lethargic. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's doing alright. Quickly run through the setup. This is one of the, well, one of my, my new rods. <laughs> it's a Black Widow twin tip. Uh, this is 1.5 pound test curve. Now, it's usually a wee bit, it's quite heavy for, for this style of fishing. It's a lot heavier than I would normally fish. Usually it's a pound test curve. Pound, pound, pound. Good. <laughs> yeah, usually I'd fish a, a pounder 1.25 yeah, yeah. But yeah, 1.5 today Purely because the amount of tow that's in the water And I do have a lighter rod with me But this rod has got a 2 ounce tip in it And the 2 ounce tip just stands up to that tow a little bit better The 1 ounce tip in that other rod would just It would just pull right round in that tow uh, and it would make scene bites a wee bit harder. And it's, it's working, it's, it's doing well. Uh, on the business end, I've went straight in for a helicopter rig. No messing about. Helicopter rig, but with a slightly longer hook link. See, that's where I'm different. Yeah. Yours must be about... About 50 centimetres or thereabouts. Mine must be about 12. I went in with that idea thinking that if I need to, rather than change the whole rig, all I had to do is just shorten the hook link right down. But there's been no need because I've been catching fish, which is more than can be said for some people. <laughs> uh, yeah, fish, fishing quite consistently, quite quite accurately, uh, working hard for it, but but there's a bag of fish getting built and that's the main thing. Well, I think if we'd done the competition, what you were discussing, I think aye. there would have been one winner. You preempted this, I think, didn't you? Aye, aye, I had a funny <laughs> feeling. <laughs> but no, let's see if we can get a couple more. Still time. I've only managed, managed to catch one. Seven hours. <laughs> That's my second roach. Oh dear. The things I let you talk me into. Well, that's not right, is it? The things I let you talk me into. <laughs> Do I possibly have the discarder, please? Seven hours for that. I think that's anywhere near two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, give you two ounces. Alex. Tom. I'd like to know one thing. Feeder fishing. 
holidays. Yep. Stinking weather. What's the attraction? I've absolutely no idea. But there is just something about it that keeps you here. Uh, nah, not right in the head. Madness. But I think it's one of these things that only anglers know. You try to explain it to someone that doesn't fish and they just don't get it. Is it the thought that that rod could wrap round and it's that two pounder that you, you dream of? Because you've got me obsessed about it now, I know. <laughs> I, I don't think we're getting a two pounder from here. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, a pound and a half is my new target. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can already tick that box. Bring it down a little bit. Nah, a two pounder from Lomond, I think, is almost impossible. But you do, yeah, you never know. And just like any other fishing, it's just that anticipation. That rod could rattle around and it could be, well, it could be anything in here. But yeah, it could be a. A big slab of silver, that's the that's the hope. Very right, much the species that we've, we've caught from here. Not that you can catch from here, but what we've actually caught from here. Obviously not just today, because it's been limited. Hey, oh, roach, dace, chub, bream, perch, pike, hybrids, eels, rough, pound, sea trout, perox, flounders. Flounders was the, the, the weirdest one, but a strange one. Aye, but yeah, uh, quite a few. There's a lot, of, a lot of species in here, and some big ones as well. That's what it is. Everything's just grey and black. And at the day, it's just miserable. Yeah. Wish I said I when you said you probably got the road <laughs> off one. We we normally stick out to dark. We always stick out to dark. We always. Do. I don't think today is going to be one of those days though. I can see us. Uh, Heading for the pub soon, perhaps. That does sound pretty good. But yeah, it's been a, it's been a tough day. It's been a really tough day. I had to work for the fish, but one fish by one fish by one fish, I did start to build a bag, and we've got we've got the net there, so we will have a look and see what we've what we've got. We've well, you get one. You, you, we can point out Gordon. We can point out Gordon's fish. <laughs> oh, cold now. Let's have a look. See what we've got. It's a hard. A hard day's work, but I'm sure there's a few in here. Oh yeah, hard day right enough. And that's reflected in the, the very small net of fish that we've managed to get. Or really, some of us managed to get. Gordon, I think that's yours there, isn't it? Ah, very funny. <laughs> See, I uh, ended up with... Aye, tough, tough, tough to you, but there we go. Small net of silver. You can just see the, the, look at the colours on those. I don't know if the camera picks up. Look at the blues on the back there. The purple. The green. So many different colours in these fish. And you really only get that in the winter. Some are to take on a much more bronze colour, but quality roach all the same. Let's get back. Surely I'm the only one that hopes for a big bike. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that ends a miserable day. Oh, that was hard work, man. 